Team USA routes Iran in a blowout win in last night's game. More after this. Hello everyone and welcome back to AG's Point of View where I will give you 10 minutes of the most popular topics in the world today. Team USA goes out and routes Iran in emphatic fashion. 120 to 66. All the shooters that stepped up knew what they knew was in front of them, did what they needed to do. Um, the team USA was, you know, were led by Dane Lillard. 21 points in the game. The defense was on point. Uh, you know, everything was just, everything was clicking. If you watch the videos I said before. You know, with them being upset with Pop, you know what I'm saying? You know, going with the San Antonio offense, man, they wasn't really feeling that. It looks like they tweaked the offense. Now they're moving into a direction where they all like to play. It was time for USA to step up and overcome adversity, and that's what they did. The American superstars dominated Iran to pick up their first win in the Olympics with a convincing 120-66 blowout that put them back on track in Tokyo. Dame Lillard led Team USA with 21 points for Iran, Mohamed, Jamsidi, and Hamed Hadidi notched 14 points apiece for a team high. The defense was absolutely astounding for Greg Popovich's team. They held Iran to only 37% shooting from the field. In the process, they piled up 10 steals, 11 blocks, and Team USA took great care of the basketball, turning over the ball six times, only six times. Notably, they did not turn the ball over at all in the fourth period. Now that's key. No turnovers, low turnovers. You know, you expect to have some turnovers when you go into a game, but you had low turnovers, okay? They went out there and just watching them last night, they were in the passing lanes on defense, you know, on offense. They were making the extra pass, you know. Somebody had a good shot, they passed over somebody that was wide open for a great shot. The average player in basketball, period. If you constantly passing the ball around the horn, making them move, eventually they're going to give in, okay? In the first quarter, you may have, you know, it may slow you down a little bit. As the time goes on, second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter, they're going to get winded, they're going to get tired, things are going to happen. And that's what the Team USA did last night. They kept, they kept to the game plan. They moved the ball around the horn. They got open shots. It almost looked like I was looking at a Golden State team, you know, back in 2018. Or 27, 20, yeah, 2017, 2018. So Kevin Durant was out there. He was hitting shots. You know, um, it, it was almost to the point that it looked like I was watching their dream team, 92 dream team, when they was just getting out there and they was playing against Angola, and they were just getting the ball and they were just out there getting dunks and shots, and it was just ridiculous. It was just crazy. So the fact that they pulled out a 54 point win. Um, kind of gave me optimism going forward. I mean, I know they play the Czech Republic next. Um, and I, I feel like they can beat them. I feel like that 54-point win kind of got them back on track. And with them putting up 120 points, it actually put them in a level where it's like, okay, a lot of us were doubting them. I'm not going to lie, I was definitely down there because I felt like if you lost to France, not the fact that you lost to France and France was bad, I just felt like France was, um, I just felt like France was just, they didn't have enough stars on the team. I mean, you let Evan Fournier score 28 points and Rudy Oberg go out there and give you a double-double, okay? And, you know, Nicholas Batum, you know, he chip in and do his piece, but, I mean, it's like, we got stars all across the board. Our 12th man is better than their number one man should be, you know? So it was just like, I mean, going into it, it was definitely one of those things where the Americans took pride and was like, look, we lost the last game. We're not losing this game. This is not going to be a, we cannot lose this game. As a matter of fact, 
The spread for that game was 39 points. They won by 54. They won convincingly by 54 points. So they, they knew in their mind that they was not going to lose. The defense was going to be sharp. The passes was going to be crisp. And everything was going to work the way they wanted it to work. Okay? Um, stop relying on the referees to try to actually, you know, you go on there and you get getting fouled. They're going to let you get fouled. They're gonna, I mean, unless you get, you know, mauled or whatever, you know, you're not going to get um, that, uh, that call that you're looking for. So it's like, to me, um, you know, I just feel like uh, the, 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 the American team did pretty good. And I'm going to go over these stats real quick and um, let me give you a little breakdown of it. Let me get the ESPN real quick. But while, we, while we're doing that, <clears throat> um, Kevin Durant looked sharp last night. He looked good. It looked like he was, he was, you know, involved in the game. Um, you know, I, I was actually proud. You know what I mean? It was like, you know, Team USA played like a real American team. Like, I mean, we won convincingly. And that is the general consensus of most American teams. So... One second. I apologize for the delay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I want to do that. Okay. Here we go. See all. All right. Um. All right. Now let's see. Who we play next? We believe we play the Czech Republic. Here we go. Right here. Um, you know, so like I said, you know, going into it, you know, I felt like it was a game where we should have won the game. And we did we just what we were supposed to do. Uh, I'm going to read off a few of the box scores. Dame Little had 21, obviously. Dad Booker had 16. Kevin Durant had 10. He was 4 for 8. He didn't really shoot a lot. Um... And last game, if you pay attention, he was in foul trouble. This game, he didn't get a he didn't commit a foul at all. So the foul, you know, the foul situation. Draymond Green had four. That was the most on the team. You know, it was an even performance. Everyone on the team scored. Um, you know, everyone went out there. It seems to me, Dame Lillard and uh, Jason Tatum basically took the lion's share of the. Uh, of the shots, and they were they was the ones that actually scored the you know the most points. Um, what I like about our defense, we held Iran to 12 points in the first quarter. We held them to 13 points in the third quarter. That was a great start. That was a great start to each half. Um, when you're doing something like that, um, that what that's going to do? That's going to slow them down, kind of discourage them, and kind of get them. You know, thinking like, well, we might be overmatched. And, you know, in basketball, once you get in somebody's head, it's basically over because, you know, you got to be focused. You got to be locked in when you're playing basketball and pretty much all sports. You know, it's not just basketball, but all sports. And I feel like, you know, the other team was just, eh. I mean, you got, you know, two guys, I'm, I'm sorry, three guys in double figures. You know, you got... Reservoir with 12 points. And, of course, the two gentlemen I mentioned earlier, Hadid, Hadadi at 15 and Jamshidi had 14. The rest of the team, you know, sprinkled a couple of four and five points here, and it was a resounding win. Going forward, I think Team USA has a chance to actually get the gold medal. They just had to convincingly win. I, I think something like that would uh, basically benefit us in the long run because when they see that kind of win, although Iran doesn't, they really don't have any NBA players on their team. Now, um, as far as the Czech Republic, let me see, I wanna take a look at them because I wanna kinda look and see what they have going forward um, as far as 
NBA style players. Okay, they don't have many. Jay Vesely. Um, France beat them by 20 uh, yesterday. So, I mean, you know, it should be another resounding win. I don't really see a lot of big name people on Sedaransky. You know, I think he played for like the Chicago Bulls, if I'm not mistaken. Um, another guy named O. Balvin and Vesely. So, I mean, they may be resourceful. They may move the ball around the horn. But uh, I think our idea locked them down. I, I really feel good, confident in that game. Uh, I believe that next game should be on Friday. And then we start looking into match play as far as like the quarterfinals, things of that nature. So, um, you know, that was a, that's it for me. You know, I'm you know, I'm actually looking forward to the uh, next game, and I want to see what uh, what we have. I'm going to leave a question for you guys. I want to know if you feel like that resounding win, did that get the Americans back on track? Or was it just a, it, was it just a game where Iran wasn't really that good and, you know, it was one of them, you know, kind of get right games and the next game was going to kind of get them, you know, uh, some fits. I mean, you know, so let me know. You know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments down below. You know, hit that subscribe button. I definitely appreciate it. You know, it helps the channel. You know, helps me grow and helps me bring better content to you. Um, you know, hit that like button as well. You know, I drop a video every day. So click the uh, notification bell so you can stay in tune to when I drop a story. You know, again, please don't hesitate to leave, leave a comment. You know, I would like to have some dialogue back and forth with the uh, with the viewers. And, um, you know, we can go from there. So thank you all for, uh, you know, coming out. As my man Iverson would say, thank y'all for coming out. God bless and good night. I apologize. That's Russell Simmons. Good night. Peace.